All right, what's going on guys today? I'm going to be making a video on how to get more frames per second in Battlefield 2042. I know right now it's an issue just because the game is optimized terribly and I've heard it uses a lot of CPU. So some of these should help um, all of you. I actually got this idea for the video from a user on Steam by that goes by Sky Lake. Um, link to his Steam guide will be in the description if you'd like to follow that. But anyway, let's jump right into it. So what you're going to want to do is go to your documents or be a Battlefield 2042 folder. Click on that. You're going to want to go to settings, profile, save. This is going to open anywhere. I opened mine in notepad, wordpad, mine in wordpad. Okay. So this is going to open up. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find GST render dot shadow quality. So GST on the left, going to go down to render and then search here for shadow quality. And S shadow should be in here somewhere. Shadow quality. You're going to want to set this to zero. So shadow quality zero, not shader. Make sure you do shadow, set that to zero. And then in this same one, you're gonna to wanna to look for GST render DX12 enabled. This is only if you have a graphics card that's going to use that. Um, I know in the comments under the Steam post, people were saying, make sure your graphics card can is DX12. Um, so GST render DX12, we're gonna to need to go up for that. DX12 enabled, change that. It's gonna be default zero, change it to one. And then GST render, dot weapon that's going to be down here weapon dof change that to zero i have not done that so let's do this together I'm going to go to zero and then make sure you save this click up here click save that's all you're going to need to do for this part we've made it and then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to exploit protection when this opens up go to program settings add programs to customize choose exact file path so what i had to do is i had to go to windows i think it was under this one steam and then search it's already right here battlefield 2042 exe that's going to search it's going to pop up you're going to want to click on it i'll have mine pop up here trial it's going to be this one right here you're going to need to do launcher as well so keep that in mind click override system settings and you're going to want to click off because i think default when you click this on it'll be it'll say on and then click that off and do the same thing for the battlefield 2042 underscore launcher dot exe that will require a restart of your system um, so do that i've already done it so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna change anything and then lastly, we have in-game, actually not lastly, but I can open this up. Go to the command prompt and you're gonna wanna type render dot resolution, I believe. My caps is on. Render resolution scale, put that at one. I think I've already done mine. Render resolution scale one and then you're going to want to do post let me turn my caps off that's going to bug me uh, dof method and then dof method and none underscore none result dof method none now that's it for in game um one thing that you should do to get the maximum frames i'll show you my settings i am on a 2070 super with a ryzen 5 3600x so we're gonna want to go here oh no options display all right motion blur should be off turn that off my field of views at 105 uh, none of this really matters. It's going to just be how you prefer it. And then this, these four should be off. Off, off, off. These are my settings. 
that's going to be up to you. I know that I can turn my settings up now that I've done this because I get like 80 to 90 on some maps. And then I don't know why, but on Kaleidoscope and the sand map, what is that one called? I can't remember. On that map, I get low frames for some reason. Uh, it's probably just what the map is. DLSS, I have mine on performance. That's also a preference if you want to put it on uh, ultra performance, quality, whatever you want. I like it on performance. Ray trace, make sure this is off. This helped me so much by turning this off, like hugely. NVIDIA reflex, if you have an NVIDIA card, put it on boost. And that is it for this. That's all this netted me like 40 frames. I was getting maybe 40 frames, never really touching 60. And then once I did the in-game stuff, went through the files and changed that stuff, I got way more frames. And I think the exploit protection thing helped me the most because when I did the config and when I did the in-game, I maybe got, I don't know, 15 more frames where they were more stable. It wouldn't drop when I got into gunfights and things like that. And then once I changed the exploit protection, that's when I was starting to get 80, 90 frames um, in-game, really never dropping below 70. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the video. That's going to be it. I hope this helps you a ton. Like I said, link to the Steam guide in the description if you'd like to follow that. Later. All right, as I was editing this, throwing it together, I forgot to mention, make sure your drivers are all up to date. Make sure your XMP is enabled. I know if you have a pre-built, that can be an issue. That will be in your bio setting. You can look that up. I don't want to add too much to this video. Um, also, there is reports that people's uh, latest driver, I know that's contradictory to what I just said, but it, it really depends. I know there, there's a lot of arguments in the discussion, but some people have better performance on the older driver rather than the update that came out uh, last week sometime. So you can try that, see how it works. For me, I didn't notice any difference. So I just updated to the latest driver because something I do every time I boot up my PC. Anyways, hope that helped. Just wanted to throw this in there later.